My name is Ethan Feinschreiber, and I have a passion for educating the world about snakes. Garter snakes are nothing new to this channel. I've featured several different species before, and all of which I think are some of the most beautiful snakes out there. However, Florida is home to one that is nothing short of incredible. This is the blue striped garter snake. Blue striped garter, dude. No way. Dude, that thing's the size of a small water snake. Ow! Well, that hurt. This is a blue striped garter snake. Now, I'm not just saying that it's a garter snake with a blue stripe. This is actually just a type of common garter snake. This little portion of Florida um, is actually the only place in the world that you get blue striped garter snakes. And then everywhere else around this part of the United States, you get eastern garter snakes. And you can easily tell that this is not an eastern garter snake and that it is something else because it does not have the classic bright yellow or orange stripe going down its back. It is a dark red stripe. And then of course the blue stripe. I'm sorry but the videos I've been taking of this snake do not do it justice. This is a pretty darn bluish stripe. It is a beautiful snake. This is potentially the most gorgeous garter snake I've probably ever seen. And it is a monster of a garter snake as well. Its head is easily the size of my thumb. And it was super defensive at first, but then eventually it calmed down. This snake bit me right on the finger, and it was not happy, but it calmed down pretty quickly. And now it's just a really chill snake. These guys are found around here in the salt marshes, but I assume these guys don't have to be fully aquatic either. Like, I think they, uh, they just like to eat a lot of the things that are around here. So I think they behave kind of like water snakes. They kind of go down, and they like to eat fish, they like to eat frogs, and they like to go after everything that lives here in the water. And maybe that's why this one's gotten so big it's gotten the chance to eat some big fish one of the things that these guys do when they feel defense defensive she's doing it right now is she actually is flattening her head and just making herself look as big as possible a lot of people say that they flatten their head to look like a cotton mouth because then it kind of shows that triangular shape and makes it look like it has those venom glands and it's basically the shape of a snake's a venomous snake's head and really i think they're just doing it just to puff up and look bigger because i don't think they realize that venomous snakes have triangular shaped heads and they don't. I think they're just trying to make themselves look as big and scary as they can. Now does the blue striped garter snake make a good pet? I'm sorry, I know, it's a really pretty snake and it's definitely a snake I wish I could take home and keep with me, but unfortunately, it is gonna have a much better chance of survival if we let it go back into the wild. Garter snakes do make decent pets, but there's lots of other snakes that are just as pretty, if not prettier than the blue striped garter snake that are available and decent pets in captivity, such as the California red-sided garter snake. We're gonna let this guy go and see what else we can find here in the Florida Panhandle. Thank you so much for watching and taking the time to educate yourself on the blue striped garter snake. I'll see you guys next time with possibly an even cooler snake. As strange as it is, blue snakes exist, and I was lucky enough to see one with my own eyes. So whether you find these snakes scary or not, you simply cannot deny the beauty these reptiles can have. If you enjoyed this episode of Snakes on the Brain, let me know by giving this video a like, and if you want to learn about other snakes I've caught, make sure to subscribe.